goodness gracious, we must never forget how good our God is. He always wants for us what is good. The goodness of God will give us grace to get through every situation that we face. Grace is God's divine influence upon our heart and its reflection through your life. When the grace of God is activated in you, He actually causes you to move towards His will and purpose. And His grace empowers you to fulfill it. Grace is also the undeserved, unmerited favour of God. In John 1.17 it says, For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. It is God meeting us at our point of need in the person of Jesus Christ, including all of His power and all of His provision. God does not give us purpose and then send us out to accomplish it on our own. He doesn't say, go for it pal, you're on your own. We have all been given grace, a calling, gifting and divine enablement sufficient to have you grow to full stature. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you, never let you down. Our responsibility is to stay strong in spirit. When you are not strong in spirit, you tend to be tossed around, no longer grounded. Instead of you shaping the environment, the environment is shaping you. What can throw you off? We must continue to press through every challenge, more than we can feel and more than we see going on around us. Do not quit. Do not give up. Despite what things look like, we win. He can place you in the right place at the right time to do the right thing. God's grace gives you the power to overcome every situation that comes your way. The key to overcoming is not that God takes away the problem, but gives you the grace to overcome the problem. He empowers you. We have access to His wisdom. We refuse to lose our peace when everything is coming against us. We refuse to fear. We look to God's strategies and wisdom to get us through.
a season it might seem like the enemy is winning, but ultimately he does not. The enemy's strategy is to wear us down, but we will not be worn down. His power is made perfect in our weakness. We may not know the timing, but we do know that eventually we win. When I am weak, then I am strong. It is not our own strength, but it is God's. God's grace is available to us to overcome. It's not by might, it's not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. We continue to speak a grace to the mountains and to the obstacles that we are facing and we will continue to face. Through him, we overcome the obstacles. God gives us grace to believe for things that we need in these times. Receive his goodness, receive his grace, wisdom, provision and faith to fight forward. This is Rosanna Palmer. Don't forget to subscribe.